What's good guys, my name is Oleg Nikitin and you're watching No Limits On, the channel about the privilege of being a freelancer. And yesterday we had new Apple presentation about Apple Silicon Mac M1 chip and I, not I, but ARM architecture. And 2020 is not getting worse guys, it's getting much better. So let's go. So yesterday guys, we had the best Apple presentation throughout the whole 2020 because this presentation and this technology will push the market towards us, the, the consumers, you know? And let's have a look what Apple has presented. I'm not going to go through the presentation and just simply repeat the words they said. Actually, I want to know how this will impact the market, how this will impact Intel and Apple, and what do we as consumers get from this presentation. So stay tuned. Throughout 2020, the Intel shares dropped from $68 to $44. And I guess they will become even lower next time throughout the 2021, for instance, because Apple now is not dependent on Intel. They make their own processors, one of the best ones on IR, not I, why am I saying I? ARM technology. This allows Apple to make a small, rather small chip, which has integrated everything. It has the CPU integrated, the GPU integrated, the security system, the machine learning or neural engine system, and many more. It's a pretty complicated thing, but actually it provides us with just great, great performance and so nice efficiency. Apple could have decided whether we have a boost in efficiency or in performance, but they gave us both. So let's have a look. M1 chip is a single chip instead of multiple chips, and that is why all of the process are being more fast and reliable and, you know, more efficient overall. Also, it features 5 nanometers architecture, which provides us with even better and faster transitions, and it has 16 billion transistors, which is just enormous amount, guys. The battery life because of this structure and this system and because we have now the bigger battery inside our new MacBook Pro 13-inch, MacBook Air, the new generation and also Mac Mini, which actually doesn't have a battery, but still the battery becomes bigger because we have more real estate in there and we have up to 20 hours of video playback in MacBook Pro 13-inch, which is great because in the previous generation we had only 10, so it's almost doubles the battery life which is great. Also, it has an 8-core processor, 4 cores for kind of, you know, general use, some web browsing or, you know, and 4 cores for some hard stuff, for video editing, Photoshop, I don't know, 3D graphics and all that stuff. So, it is more efficient because it doesn't use all the 8 cores every time. It uses partly 4 cores for simple tasks and 4 cores for those hard tasks. It has 8-core GPU, which is 5 times faster, as Apple claims, than the previous generation, and it means that we are, as videographers, photographers, editors, you know, designers, we get much more performance out of the same form factor and kind of the same price. Actually, it's priced around $1,300 for the base model, I mean, the MacBook Pro 13-inch, which is great. We almost didn't get the growth in price, but we get five times better video graphics and it's awesome. Because now we can allow ourselves to invest and to be sure that it will be a long-term investment. Also, it features 16-core neural engine with 11 times faster machine learning. So the computer will understand what things you're doing the most and it will kind of push the power towards those things and reduce the power from other th uh, things that you don't use, which is great, so it's also a big, big bonus for them. Also, they have improved uh, the security part, which is always about Apple, they're all about security, and it's also great. And it has the integrated HDR module for the video editing in HDR, and H.265 is not a problem and not an issue for those laptops or Mac mini anymore, which is great because our cameras are getting H.265 codecs more and more. But there is a downside for this system, for this M1 chip, because it has no upgradability. It's just stuck with the same amount of, you know, RAM inside and the same graphics and you cannot upgrade it in any way. So you have to decide wisely what to upgrade before you buy. The next big thing is Big Sur new operating system. It features new design. 
and the compatibility of apps from your iPhones and your iPads, which allows you to use more of those apps and to make the Apple Echo's Echo ecosystem more efficient and more reliable because before we only had copy and paste text or something like airdrop or you begin typing in your notes on your phone and it becomes available in your laptop or your desktop computer but now it's even more integrated and for those you know creators and developers it's getting much much better because they can now do a simple one app which will work on all of the apple ecosystem why I'm saying echo? Ecosystem. Also, now the computer will wake up instantly, just as your iPhone or iPad. It also helps to become more reliable and fast in your work because time is money and we want the best performance possible and the fastest performance possible. Apple will still support the Intel computers and the Intel you know, apps and we have a Rosetta special adaptation for this and for the creators and developers, so don't worry, they will be still supporting the older computers, but now we have much more you know, broad variety of possibilities. And now let's talk about the MacBook Pro 13-inch, the new model with M1 chip. I guess it's the most interesting model, at least for me, because it's a compact all-in-one design uh, full of features machine. So MacBook Air is great, but it has no fans, so it's completely silent, but it's not actually for video editing, but it still has the M1 chip, so the performance is still going to be good, but without, you know, throttling and all that stuff, this is about the MacBook Pro 13 inch. So it will have 2.5 times faster CPU, up to five times faster GPU, also, it has a neural engine, as I said before, with 11 times faster machine learning. It will have almost double the battery life because of its new features, the better security updates, and the price is still 1300 bucks. So this machine is just the best, I guess, option for you travel videographers, for you travel photographers. And actually, I have a full review of this unit. This is the MacBook Pro 13-inch 2019, but it features the same body and almost the same, you know, hardware when you the things that you can touch, not the inside, of course, and you can have a look at this review and understand why do you need such a laptop, even if you have, um, you know, stationary computers such as iMac or Mac Pro. So what to expect from Apple in their bigger systems, in their bigger laptops and their bigger, you know, iMacs and Mac Pros? Actually, the M1 chip has everything integrated. So it's not kind of a, making good friends and uh, not about friendship with uh, the external GPUs and uh, some, you know, GPUs that are not integrated into the chip itself. So we'll see what do they have, but still, I guess it will be a high, high jump in efficiency and performance in the 16 inch MacBook Pros and also a great jump in performance and, you know, reliability and all of that goodness in the bigger iMacs and the bigger, you know, MacBook Pro, not MacBook, just Mac Pros you know, those huge boxes for enormous amount of money. And all this event and this new technology pushes the market towards us and towards, you know, competition because Apple has now just raised the bar so high and all the other companies will try to get to Apple as close as possible and it will just bring us closer to the, you know, more reliable, more cheap options and more, you know, more great technology overall. Apple did a very smart move because they do not buy the Intel's processors anymore, they make their own ones and they know that everything will be working as efficient as possible, as reliable as possible and will have less bugs and issues with this system when it's polished Maybe it's not exactly the best thing right now, but it will be polished and it's a great thing because they will squeeze everything out of each hardware and software to provide us with the best quality possible. So what does it mean for Apple and for Intel? Apple will have a great impact and a great growth because more and more people and freelancers like we are, are going to buy the MacBook Pros and the MacBook Airs and actually the Apple products more and Intel is going to struggle just trust me guys it's going to struggle this is the new era of innovation guys and here's the quote of the episode by Steve Jobs rest in peace Steve you know your guys are doing great innovation distinguishes between a leader and a follower 
As a disclaimer, I'd like to say that I've been using Apple products for more than eight years now, and I do love their products, but I'm not an Apple fanboy. I just understand that they provide us with the best you know, technology available right now, and they want the competition to be you know, as hard as possible, to actually earn as much as possible, but still, it provides us with the best gear. And it's just crazy and nice for me as a freelance videographer, uh, who doesn't really earn millions of dollars and trying my best to provide you with the content and to provide my clients with great content. And they bring us the tools, available tools actually, to do it with comfort, with ease and with great technology and with pleasure because it's a pleasure to use. If you use Apple Stack, you know what I'm saying. And the question of the episode, guys, what do you think about Apple's new products and new IRM, not I, ARM system and Big Sur new operating system and overall about this new technology, where it's going? So guys, please share your thoughts in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons, buttons, whatever you call them. I will highly appreciate this. And don't forget to hit the notifications bell if you like what you see on my channels. I have a Russian channel separate. This is the English one. And also this channel is about video, tech, you know, gear, reviews and uh, editing tips. So if you're interested in all that, please guys, subscribe. This was Oleg Nikitin and No Limits On. See you in the next video, guys. Take care. Bye.